Recently on this channel, I've made two different videos about animals that have been introduced into the UK and shouldn't be here. So in this video, I'm going to tell you about 10 animals that came from the UK and have been introduced into other places around the world. First up, and starting with a bird that has long been associated with people and where they live, the house sparrow. These noisy and gregarious birds are native to Europe, parts of Asia and Northern Africa, but they have been deliberately introduced to lots of other parts of the world over the last 200 years. They've been introduced to New Zealand, the USA, some parts of South America, South Africa and Australia. Although in the UK, their numbers have declined drastically over the last 50 years, in some of the countries where they are non-native, their numbers have boomed and they can compete with native birds for nesting sites and food. The second animal on this list is the red deer. The UK's largest land mammal is native to most of Europe, Western Asia and is the only species of deer that's native to Africa, albeit only around the Atlas Mountains in the very north of the continent. They have however been introduced to a handful of other places, such as Australia, New Zealand, Canada, the USA, Argentina, Peru, Chile and Uruguay. In most of these places they have little impact on native species and are heavily controlled by people. But in Australia, and New Zealand in particular, they can compete with native herbivores for grazing opportunities. You might not be surprised to hear that the European green crab, which is also known as the common shore crab, is the most numerous crab found around the UK. They are native to coastlines all around Europe and Northern Africa, but outside of this native range, they are considered as one of the worst alien invasive species. They have been introduced to North and South America, Australia, South Africa and East Asia. It's thought that they got to these places by being transported in shipping ballast water or accidentally with bait used for sea fishing. As they are opportunistic omnivores, in their non-native range they can negatively impact ecosystems by preying upon or competing with native species. Next up is another bird that has drastically declined in the UK in recent years but has become really common in other places where it's been introduced, the European starlin. They're native to Europe, Southwest Asia and Northern Africa but they have been introduced to the USA, South Africa, New Zealand and Australia. They were introduced to most of these places deliberately in the hope that they would control insect populations but they can reach really high densities and they have been known to take over the nesting sites of native birds and compete with them for food and resources. Despite being one of the UK's favourite animals, European hedgehogs aren't held in such high regards in some places where they've been introduced. They are native to most of Europe and like so many other species, they are currently at their lowest numbers ever in the UK. Unlike other species on this list, from what I can find, European hedgehogs have only successfully been introduced to one country outside of their native range, New Zealand. They were introduced in small numbers to remind European settlers of their home, but have since spread across almost all of the country. Unfortunately, this hasn't been great news for ground nesting birds, reptiles and some rare invertebrates, all of which the hedgehogs prey upon. Although I am certain there are lots of UK insects that have been introduced around the world, the only one I can really find information about is the European wasp. These stinging, and often uninvited guests of summer barbecues are native to Europe, Northern Africa and Western Asia. They were first introduced in Tasmania in 1958 and they are now widespread across the south of Australia. They are also present in New Zealand and have been recorded a handful of times in the USA. It's thought that they got to these places by stowing away in shipping containers or other international freight. European wasps are capable predators of invertebrates and as such they pose a direct threat to some native species in places where they've been introduced. Next up is another animal that is much loved by the UK public, the mute swan. These large and powerful birds are native to Europe and some parts of Asia. Being so beautiful, they've been shipped around the world to be kept in private and public ornamental collections. Perhaps unsurprisingly, they've either escaped or been deliberately released in some of these countries and are now found in the wild in North America, Japan, South Africa and New Zealand. In these countries, they aren't found in huge numbers, but as they can be quite territorial when nesting, they have been reported as competing with some native waterfowl for space along waterways. The red fox is the world's most widespread carnivorous land mammal 
and this is in part due to introductions by people. They've been released to and have now colonised Australia, Mexico and Canada. And although there is a native subspecies of red fox in the USA, this has been supplemented with introductions of a European variant. They are still colonising further south in the Americas, and scientists expect them to gradually spread across most of South America. Interestingly, although there was attempts to introduce red foxes to New Zealand, this wasn't successful, and the country is still red fox free. As a non-native species, red foxes have the most noticeable impact in Australia where they've been blamed for the decline in some ground nesting birds. The next animal is the least distributed non-native species on this list, but it's a worthy participant nonetheless, the rook. This medium sized member of the crow family is native to Europe and Northern Asia. They've only been introduced successfully to one other country, New Zealand, in 1862. Just like most other crows, rooks are opportunists and feed upon native reptiles and insects and they will also take young birds and eggs from native bird nests. In New Zealand, they are regarded as a pest species and are targeted by control measures by local authorities. Most of these are aiming to completely eradicate the birds. The last animal on this list falls into a grey area for if it should be here or not. European polecats are native to most of Europe and Western Asia but have been domesticated by people for thousands of years. The domesticated version of a polecat is known as a ferret and it is these that have been introduced outside of their native range. They were introduced to New Zealand in the 1880s as a way to try to control rabbit populations but as they are such adaptable predators they now predate on a lot of ground nesting birds and have even been deemed partly responsible for extinctions of some species from the mainland. They have also been introduced to the Portuguese island of Madeira although their impact there is much less reported. So are any of those animals a surprise? Isn't it interesting how some animals that have really declined here in the UK are now exploding in numbers in other countries? I wonder what makes that happen. If you enjoyed this video, check out this British Wildlife video and if you like that, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.